Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate how you can use a pivot table to answer this question. How many small invoices do we process? So in other words we want to find the frequency of invoice amounts. Now I'm going to perform this demonstration in two parts. First using Excel 2010-2007 and then showing you how you can produce the same results if you are using Excel 2003. So here's the request and I've had this request numerous times. I've made this request numerous times. How many small invoices do we process? In other words, a new sales manager, a new vice president of sales has come in and said, I want to put in a minimum order process. Well, at this point, I'm making the assumption that you know the basics of pivot tables because I'm going to show you a pivot table uh, approach that we can use for frequency distribution. Now, many people do not realize that once they have a pivot table based off of an underlying data set, they can actually make a copy of the pivot table. So in this case, I'm using Excel 2010, but this applies to Excel 2007. So in the pivot table tools options, let's come in and select the entire pivot table. Let's use the keyboard shortcut control C to make a copy of it and come down several rows and let's use control V to make a paste copy of it. So now we have two pivot tables that are working off the same underlying data set. Now, what we want to do is we want to establish a frequency distribution. So in this case, I don't need the customer and I don't need the unit ship. So I have my total revenue. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the revenue, which means the sum of the invoice totals, and this may seem counterintuitive, but I'm going to take a numeric field and put it into the row labels. Now, when I put it into the row labels, it's going to give me all of the unique values. In other words, all of the uh, unique invoices, the total of $150, $180, $190, etc. What we're going to do next is we're going to group the uh, uh, invoice amount that we placed here in the row label. So if you simply right mouse click a single cell, I'm going to stress that, a single cell right mouse click a single cell and come down here to group. What we're going to do is we're going to be grouping the field. Now Excel is smart enough to say here's the lowest value $150 which you see there. Here's the top amount that you have in there $37,200. Now in this case what I want to do is I want to say alright now put these into a bin. Put these into a frequency distribution at the level of $5,000 increments. So buy means what's the increment. So I'm going to put $5,000 click OK and there you go. Now let's give this a better title rather than low labels. Let's put in here bin distribution. In other words invoices that range in uh, this bin distribution from $150 to $5,149. Remember we did an increment by $5,000. So here is the total amount of revenue for the invoices that were at least $150 and at the most $5,149. And again the amounts match up. Now take that into your boss whether it's the national sales manager or the new VP of sales and the next question that comes out is well how many invoices fell into that range? Again it's very simple when we use the pivot table. In this case what we're going to do is we're going to take the invoice total and we're going to put it in a second time. So make sure that you're in the right pivot table. You see if I'm in this pivot table I have a different orientation. So in this case I want to make sure that I'm in this pivot table and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the invoice total and I'm going to add it in to the values drop zone a second time. Now this is really great of Excel. It's saying well okay I guess you want to find a different type of calculation. So this time it's going to use the count. And that's really terrific. Now all we have to do is let's go through and change the title and change the format for the count of the invoices. So let's right mouse click go into value field settings and this time we're going to put in there uh, number 
of invoices and that's going to be fine and in this case we want to change the number format well let's put in here accounting with zero decimal places so we can get the thousand separator and no uh, currency symbol click OK click OK so there is the number of invoices that fall into this range now it's important that we want to verify our information so the total number of invoices is 4309 remember in the underlying data set how I use this keyboard shortcut the N key on your keyboard and then the down directional arrow so we have 4310 rows but remember our top row control home takes us up to the top is the field label so the numbers match up now before I go into the demonstration in Excel 2003 let me let me remind you that I am producing a series of videos that you can download and I am creating them in three flavors for Excel 2003 for Excel 2007 and for Excel 2010 so I've created a comprehensive series of uh, lessons video lessons for Excel pivot tables for Excel 2003 7 and 10 that you can download here are the topics that I cover and here's the amazing part I'm making them available for only $9.95 but wait there's more you can actually download a step-by-step -step instructional manual and the practice files that I use in the videos all right now let's come back here and let me show you how we can do this in Excel 2003 so here is our uh, pivot table just as we had in Excel 2010 let's use the right mouse click to say select we want to select the entire pivot table go down a few rows and let's just paste it so oh I'm sorry I forgot to copy it I always forget to do that so first we want to select the entire pivot table use control C to copy come down a few rows and now paste a copy of that pivot table let's get rid of customers and let's get rid of the unit shipped all right now what we want to do is we want to create our bin distribution so that means that we're going to take the invoice total which is already in the values drop zone and we want to drag it on to the pivot table into the rows area and now I already uh, practiced this out so you see the bin distribution now if I want to ungroup it and start it over from scratch here's all I do right mouse click and come in to group and show detail and in this case I want to ungroup it so now I see the original amounts the important element in grouping a field is you select one cell and one cell only right mouse click in Excel 2003 group and show detail group this brings up the uh, grouping dialog box here's my low value here's my high value remember that in the Excel 2010 version I grouped it in increments of five thousand dollars how about if we do it here in three thousand dollar increments and click OK and of course I've got to widen the field and there you go minimum order of hundred and fifty dollars and the maximum of three thousand one hundred and forty nine dollars that's the amount of revenue when we want to see how many invoices fell into that range come back here into the pivot table field list pick up the invoice total which we already have in the values area drop it in a second time and Excel is smart enough to say you want to get a count and again here's the number four thousand three hundred and nine invoices for this total amount this is how many invoices were in this bin distribution this range between hundred and fifty dollars and three thousand one hundred and forty nine dollars at the top end we had 11 invoices that fell into this range between thirty six thousand and thirty nine thousand dollars so it's really so simple to use pivot tables for bin distribution and again let me remind you that I have an extended length video that you can download on my Webex by Cisco site what you want to do is go out to uh, HTTP colon backslash backslash uh, forward slash forward slash the company rocks dot Webex dot com when you come over here what you want to do is take a look at the recorded sessions 
So here are the sessions that you can download and you can see the size of the download, how long the lesson is, and you also have the ability to get a step-by-step -step instructional manual and the practice files. I also have over here a number of free videos that you can download. Now I've decided to break this lesson into two parts. So in the second part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through and I'm going to say how many small invoices do we process each year. So I'm going to add in another grouping for a field. And I'll look for you in that second part of this series.